with employment and real wages being determined by equilibrium between supply and demand of labour, it's important to know what will actually cause changes in this supply and demand. So in this video we're going to have a look at some factors that cause shifts in these curves and then we'll determine what the actual effects are of these shifts on employment and the real wage. So jumping right in, these are the factors that we are going to look at in this video. We've got changes in the marginal productivity of labour, changes in the working age population and the participation rate, and the introduction of new technology. Now the first one, changes in the marginal productivity of labour, it should be pretty easy for you to figure out, you know, which of the curves is going to be shifted by this. It is the demand curve. Because remember, we derived our labour demand curve from the marginal productivity of labour. We said the demand for labour is that for which the marginal productivity of labour is equal to the real wage. Now, if we draw our marginal productivity of labour curve like so, when we say an increase in marginal productivity of labour, we mean this curve being pushed up like so. Or equivalently, you could see it as a shift to the right. So if this curve is shifted to the right, then the labour demand curve we derive from that is also shifted to the right. Equivalently, if you've got a D.